Alright, welcome to my playthrough of Max Payne 1. This is actually my uh, my second attempt at doing this because it took a little... I have Windows 10, so it took a little bit to get this up and running. You have to download like this, this batch file to get it to convert or else the audio doesn't work. Um, you can't turn on anti-aliasing or else it just crashes after the opening cutscene. Uh, but nevertheless, this is one of my favorite game series of all time. Uh, you all know it. You've probably played it. Um, it's super depressing, but also it's pretty funny in a weird way. Uh, this one was made by the same people who did Duke Nukem, I want to say. was it, Is that Three Realms? 3DO? I, don't know, I get those mixed up. The second one was published by Rockstar, and the third one was developed, was developed by Rockstar. And, uh, so I'm probably going to play all those at some point because I've been looking for an excuse to go back and do it. And now I've got a YouTube channel, so there's my excuse. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to get right into the game. The only difficulty you have right off the bat is Fugitive, which is the easiest mode. Once you beat it, you unlock the, yeah, the other difficulties. Which, uh, Hardboiled is, is, is probably the best way to play it, but I don't have that option right now. Dead on Arrival is just not fun to me. In New York Minute, uh, you have a time limit, and I think you have a limit on the painkillers you can use. So we're just going to go to Fugitive and jump right into it, and I, I'm going to try not to talk through the cutscene unless something ridiculous happens, so let's, uh, let's go ahead. Gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hellhole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Fun fact, um, the character model for Max Payne is actually Sam Lake, the guy who wrote these games. I think that's his name. Um, and uh, I don't know the name of the guy who does the voice for him, but in the, uh, in the second game, they started using his model. And sorry if everything looks a little bit jagged. Like I said, I had to turn off the anti-aliasing, which is uh, kind of a bummer. But it's it, the game didn't age super well anyway, what the so... Hell? Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. 
was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to- Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? I always liked that they went with the, uh, yeah, the graphic novel way of doing cutscenes. They have in-game, uh, engine cutscenes, but... Also, this isn't full screen for me right now. I think it is for you if you're watching. Um, for whatever reason, it just won't run full screen. So I'm going to try to figure some stuff out, but I um, wouldn't count on it. Michelle! Drop it. Coming. No, 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 please, God, no. Yeah, this game is a super bummer in the beginning. Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't get any lighter throughout, but yeah, this is uh, this is kind of what you're in for. Your baby gets shot, and uh, so does your wife. So just. If you want to watch a playthrough that's going to put you in a good mood, <laughs> this uh, this might not be the one for you. But this this is a great game. It's hard, but it's a, it's a great game. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Yeah, I first played this when I was 10. <laughs> so this is this is some pretty heavy shit for a 10-year-old. No! That was 3 years ago. Everything ripped apart in a New York minute. Killer junkies have been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and Bibi were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. Bibi here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. I, uh, I first got this game like I said, when I was about 10, I think it was 2001. Um, and I was not prepared. For, I just picked it up off the shelf. Like I, I was, was my mom said I could, I could get one game. I'd have to find Alex fast. My mom said I could get one game and I just looked at the, uh, 
the cover art and I picked this one and uh, I think I made a good choice because I think it was between that and uh, mm, well the other game probably wasn't memorable enough because uh, I, I can't imagine what that was but yeah this this game has kind of stuck with me for a while and I'm gonna the see would ease the pain yep I'm gonna see a lot of these cutscenes for the first time because admittedly I skipped through a lot of them growing up because I didn't have much patience for story and uh, now that I'm older wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, well, what's the plan? Simple. Gun down. Okay. I'm just trying to remember how to uh, activate bullet time. Uh, whoops. Yeah, I like the uh, the death cam anytime you kill the last person. Ah, uh, the Desert Eagle. The Desert Eagle actually stays the best weapon in the game for a pretty long time until I think you get the combat shotgun. I think eventually you get to dual wield them. I'm not sure. I'm going to check the controls real quick. Um, use painkillers tab, bullet time only is unassigned, okay. I'm gonna make that, uh, mouse button two, and I think I, yeah, I think I'm good. Cause in, uh, in Max Pain 2, uh, right click is, is bullet time only, so that's what I'm used to. Yo guys, yo guys, hey, we're getting around, you hear me? Wasted too many bullets on him. And yeah, this is not an easy game, even on the easiest setting. I don't know why he's diving so low. Is that how it always... No, that's normal. I was obsessed, after this game came out, I was obsessed with any game that had slow-mo in it. Whoa. I don't know how he didn't get me. Oh, well, yeah, dude, it's on the easiest setting. Duh. While looking for Alex, I had ended up in the middle of a big-time crime operation. Yeah, this game gets pretty corny during the cutscenes, but that's kind of the point. It's supposed to be an overly dramatic, you know, Pulp Fiction style game. So if you just go into it expecting that, then you'll have a good time. And I think, yeah, you don't even have to go up here, but if you do, you can get these two guys. Yeah, if you get those two guys, you don't have to fight them later, because you do have to come through here. I'm trying to think if there's any good reason to come in here. I don't remember. Yeah, it, I haven't played through this game in years. I mean, I've, I've picked it up here and there, like, for maybe 20, 25 minutes, but I've always... Uh, you can actually let that cop die, I think. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Companions don't last long in this game, by the way. Which is fine with me because I hate escorting them. Home free, this way. Yeah. Look out. Ah. Get him. Ah. 
And that is a pretty good example of how much I suck at this game. Oh no. Ah oh, crap. Yeah, I forgot. You really got to be uh you got to be good about saving. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and get back to where I was and then I'll cut to it. Okay, let's try this again. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and what are these painkillers? No. I'm going to go ahead and save like a smart person. Actually, I'm going to see if there's a quick save button. Is there? Mm. I notice there's a shoot, dodge only button in case you want to dive at normal speed. All right. Where are you? Are oh, you going a different way this time? Oh, no, you're not. There's just another one here. Awesome. You gotta actually play smart in this game. I like that I chose two games in a row where bullet time is like a major component. Yeah, the uh, physics are a little janky in this game too. train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Oh yeah, downstairs. I get the hang of this game again. It's it's just been a long time. So much for being subtle. I always try to aim for these gas canisters, but I, I almost always miss. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. I remember when I was a kid, I used to uh, I used to save right before some gun battles so I could replay them and try to kill people in the coolest way so whenever they died in slow motion it just looked awesome. I guess that explains why I didn't finish this game too many times. I've probably beaten it once or twice. I've played I've played it, you know, maybe twenty times, but I I almost never beat it. Dual wielding the uh, the Berettas in this game is it's pretty awesome. Did I already get this one? 
Oh, another thing is once you get the grenades, you actually have to manually equip them. You can't just, they're not like a side item. What the hell was that? All done here. Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. <laughs> See, this game, it's, it's just, it's goofy on purpose. I love the super exaggerated New York accents. Whoa, man. I don't like how it auto equips. I do like how it just reloads, though. The door had been welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Yeah, that is some Looney Tunes level New York accents. Save again. You gotta make sure you pick up every little bit of ammo that you can because you're gonna need it. Because this game does not just throw ammo at you. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. The bank robber's score lay on the table. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Yeah, the part coming up, aside from this, the part coming up was always like one of my favorite parts of this game. I just thought it looked so cool. And it's totally, you know, taken from the Matrix, but still. This was just one of the first games I, I can remember that had a real uh, atmosphere to it. Where it, it didn't feel so much like a video game. Hold it. Max, Jesus. It felt like a movie. A heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? 
You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lapino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. I kind of wish they'd give me more time to actually uh, care about that dude, because <laughs> in 45 seconds he's he's dead. Yeah, the the name of the game is to just keep moving. If you stand still for any amount of time, yeah, I mean you're just gonna die. I also like that no matter what distance you shoot them from, they'll just go flying back. It's kind of weird, the uh, the things you can associate a certain video game with. Like, I remember... I know this is, uh, this is weird, but I remember whenever I would play this, I would, I would download a whole bunch of mods and I would just test them out. While I was doing that, I'd listen to... Uh, I'd still listen to Oasis. I'd have it on repeat. There's a lot of games I remember just based off of what I was listening to. So now anytime I hear Oasis, I get kind of bummed out. I know that's a random thing to be listening to while you're playing a video game, but... Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Paint at a max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Alright, um... A letter on the desk caught my eye. And I'll look at that letter next time. Um, thank you for watching, that's the end of... That's the end of this first video. And they're about to come in through the door, so I'm gonna end it really quick. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time.